everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 17, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Omega Fight. Uh, I believe we fought these guys before. Uh, pretty tough uh, competitors. Now, our alliance has not been taking war seriously for quite a while. But for this season, we're trying to make a push see if we can get back into uh, Platinum. Platinum 4 would be just fine. Alright? So, in Section 1, I take Path 1. You see that they did not place a Defender on that first node. Uh, so, the first person I'm going to fight is Hela. Now, for Path 1, the Undisputed King is... Gladiator Hulk. It's a Starburst path, which means that Gladiator Hulk has his face me active all the time. When Gladiator Hulk has face me active, he is one of the best champions in the game. So, for Path 1, I have not lost a single fight in seasons with Gladiator Hulk on this path. Every defender has fallen to the mighty Hulk. And Hela was no different. Down she went. All right. Now, this mini, I don't take. If you'll notice, uh, my alliance mate, Shap, he already has a path where he has to bring champions that uh, can handle that mini. So he just goes ahead and takes care of that mini. And then we move on to section two. Now, in section two, I actually take path two. Uh, path one, I just don't do very well on that path. I believe it's um, a buffet path. I don't do well on that path. Uh, I can do it. And now that I have void, if I had to do it, I would awaken void and I would use void on that path. But thankfully, I don't have to. All right, so I take path two. Uh, now, because we are going, you know, we're trying to make that push, I haven't been using boosts. You can see that I'm capped out on my boosts. I haven't been using boosts in a long time. I don't use them for Alliance Quest, and I wasn't using them in Alliance War either. So I had times where some of them expired on me, but now we're going to boost. Now, I'm not boosting for this first fight here or these first two fights. Uh, I was asked earlier on whether I wanted to take this mini. The mini is Korg, and I have an Omega Red. Omega Red does very well in fighting Korg. Now, I'm used to fighting Korg with my Havoc in Alliance Quest. So I was a little nervous, so I'm already boosting up. I figured, why not? It'll make these fights even easier, uh, but there's no difficulty. You see the nodes we have to deal with there. Uh, we're still, at this point, in a lower tier, but we're steadily working our way up. So you don't have empowered immunity or anything like that just yet. All right, so we got to fight this Venom, and Venom... He's very aggressive. I don't know if you guys remember, if you've been playing for a while, you'll remember when the double dash back was broken. It made Venom crazy. <coughs> All right. He was just nuts. Insane. But uh, when you couldn't double dash, he would just wreck you. You would try to evade. You basically had to take the block damage. And if there was any unblockable anything forget about it all right but this is not that venom and so we were able to get him down next up we've got ghost rider who also is not a difficult opponent to fight so uh all of his specials are easy uh to evade and as long as you don't accidentally push him to a special three you're golden okay just look at that my Starkey is just chewing him up. Down he goes. Remember, I am boosted up. And Starkey already hits really hard. 
Uh, now, I don't have Blade with me, so if I want to build up the Poise Charges, I can do that. But since I was boosted, not a problem. All right, now, here we have to deal with Empowered Immunity. And Korg used to be my nemesis. I really hated fighting Korg. Uh, this is when I used to bring uh, Corvus to war. And uh, I was, uh, I guess, 50%. You know, uh, half the time, uh, Korg basically destroyed me. I think there were only a few times that I didn't die to Korg. But as you can see, not having a problem. Omega Red is ripping him up. This is my six star rank two Omega Red unawakened. I don't have any regrets. Korg is down. I repeat, Korg is down. All right, so not a difficult fight for Omega Red in the least. Uh, him being unawakened, but I am running suicides, uh, so that makes a difference as well. Uh, all right, so that's my final contribution uh, as far as fighting goes in this war. Uh, my other alliance mates brought specific counters for the uh, minis there. Um, I believe uh, Khan's here. Uh, he likes to boost up and then take the rest of the path if he's going to take the mini. Uh, I'm not sure who took that domino, but uh, we were talking about it before, and that's why I took the uh, cord, and then one of the other guys took that domino. And then on little mini boss island, it was basically whoever had the proper counter for the champion we were fighting, that's who we uh, went ahead and uh, let do that fight. And I try to let them do those fights if they have uh, either better skill uh, at fighting than I do, which is not hard, uh, or they just have a better counter. All right, so now let's find out how we did in this war. <laughs> And as you can see, we won. So we are, so far, perfect in the season. Of course, it's only been two wars, but we've won both of our first two wars. And I believe we've gone up a tier uh, after this war. So the next war is going to have a little bit more challenging uh, fights uh, as far as the nodes go. All right, and of course, we'll be facing uh, more difficult defenders as uh, the alliances we face uh, go up as well. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe you learned something. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me questions. Love answering questions. All right, so... Take care, and you all have a blessed day.